Hello everyone, welcome back to JS Biology. In this video, we learn about sequence submission to NCBI GenBank. So, let's go to the home page of NCBI GenBank. Uh, so probably uh, just NCBI. Now, here we have option called as submit. When we click on the submit option, the next portal opens. So this is submit NCBI. Here let us make the selection as GenBank because we want to select uh, submit gene sequence. And here I am submitting a bacterial 16S rRNA sequence. So I am selecting that. Just say go. So we have come to the next page. And there is some note we can read. You submit only RNA ribosomal RNA sequence or RNA ITS, whatever. So I'm clicking on new submission. Here is the new submission, GenBank submission ID that will be required for your uh, queries if you have any in future. So submission type is what kind of sequence I'm submitting is prokaryotic sequence, and what I'm of that prokaryotic. So I'm submitting small subunit ribosomal RNA sequence that is 16S rRNA. And submission title, it's optional, it is saying, but I'm still giving it a title. So this is my organism's name. Here is my sequence submitter. Submitter affiliation, asking for affiliations. My submitting organization is uh, so and so. I'm just writing it, typing it down. So it's asking for the organization, the department, and its complete address. So you can go just go on typing it and I will run through this till the completion gets over now we have contact information so I am giving my primary email id and also secondary email id so that if I if they miss one the other can the other mail id can get the mail so the first name last name middle name everything will be given you can even give your phone number as well as fax numbers and just say continue it will take us to the next step that is sequencing technology for our sequencing te uh, sequencing we have used sanger d di dioxy sequencing technology and i'm not sure about all these things i mean not we have not done el elimina or any other things so I am just selecting the first option. There are lot many new gen sequencing technologies that are going on. So, but my technology that is technology used for my organism sequencing is Sanger sequencing. So, I am just selecting that assembly state. I am not sure of so, and it is not an important or wanted uh, question. So, I am just skipping it. So, I'll just say continue. So that I can go for the next step and complete this submission. Just say continue. So we'll go to the next step of submission. That is the fourth step. Fourth step is showing us uh, the sequencing. So in this step, we need to upload the sequence. I think. So this the first question is important it is required so i am not going to release i am not going to make this sequence very immediately public i will take time to publish it see you can see the date here it is 28 5 2019 so it is may 25th 28th but i want to make it public on january 2020 that is first january 2020 I just selected the date, the projected release date. This is still can be changed if you can write to them through via mail. Then Chimera check, we have not done this. It's asking for us uh, for whether we have checked the, uh, and removed low quality chimeric sequences from the FASTA file. No, we have not done that. So I'm not saying yes, obviously no. And then it is asking whether the bacteria was cultured or not. It is required field. So I am saying it is pure because our culture was pure. Now selecting the required FASTA file. So 
before that we need to know that the FASTA file should be in its proper format that is it should start with some uh, greater than sign followed by some sequence information and then followed in the next line we have the sequence the complete ATGC sequence this is the report we have got from the sequencing center I am copying it down and I will paste it in a new note tab notepad so new and text document notepad is saved as text document but here we will not save it as uh, we will save it as text document but in the FASTA required format just naming it as the strain name that's it and then we will go to the first line hit enter and uh, uh, type the greater sign greater than sign and then followed by the sequence details you can write anything sequence one six sequence one what whatever your name also is fine I'm saving this it is just dot txt file so due to some time we have taken the submission is showing that as uh, it is a submission unfinished I tried it previously also so I'll just uh, delete okay It opened all it already opened the recent file so the sequence information which we have filled so far will be as it is we need not worry about that everything will be as it is and here also on the fourth tab or fourth step see we have said no for chimeric check cultured and uncultured we have said cultured so all this is as it is and then we will upload this text file just go to the location and just select it it will be hardly in kbs and so it gets uploaded as soon as possible now there is no point in waiting just say continue and we will go to the next page it's taking them some time for processing the data so there are 10 steps here the all 10 steps are done we will go to the next step now next step it's asking us if you have any more sequences multiple sequences you can upload it all together as one file or multiple files here it will be taken care of so I don't have any sequence so I need not worry about this I'm just saying continue so it is taking us to the next step so this is the fifth step it is asking for the modifiers source modifiers it is asking which organism the sequence belongs to so I am writing the name of the organism the exact name there should be no there should not be any spelling errors so you are you are a researcher and you should be very cautious about the name of the organism so here we have this is from the sequencing center as I said previously uh, this is the name Chrysiobacterium cucumeris and the strain name we have given it as SARJS-2 it's asking for isolation source here in the next field so we had isolated it from river water and host there is no host for this it's not isolated from host it was just a crude sample that is just river water you can go for which country it belongs to the sample belongs to or there are so many options you can just go on adding all those fields I'm just adding the country so my country is India so I'm adding it likewise you can add so many so let's remove it off you can add so many forward primer name forward primer sequence reverse primer name sequence altitude latitude longitude whatever so not worrying about much about that and just moving to the sixth step very important step here sixth step is references the sequence authors who are submitting this and in whose name the sequence should be should be displayed in future so you can name the first name given uh, for the first name last name and the middle name all these things will be clearly shown and this the way you 
submit it here and uh, thus then the sequence you follow here in the records it will be represented very similar to that there will be no change in the sequence of the authors so here i have five authors and i'll you can just go and then if you have any problem uh, sorry if you have the next author the second author third author you can just click on add another sequence author if you do not want if you want to delete some author you can just have delete you have delete button there you can just say delete it so i'll take you to the filled version just not to waste time about that so all five authors are filled here so can you see there the name appears in your records as it's showing us the complete details of that and reference of the paper please provide the title and relevant publication details of your paper that discusses this submission so our paper is not was not published then i had recorded this video then only but now it is published i'll give you the link of the paper also i'm selecting unpublished same as sequence authors the reference title so these are the details you have furnished to the ncbi genbank database and uh, so you have requested it to be public on it to be made public released as a public file on january 20 january 1st 2020 that is i have requested and there is no point in waiting if all the furnished in data as displayed in this seven step is correct it is saying here that the email will be generally the submission the gen bank accession number that will be assigned will be sent by email to you within next two days they are saying but i did not have to wait for so long actually i got it within next two hours i just copied this thing gen bank submission id sub all that and just pasted it in the text file we had created you can also do that or still you will get if there is any query you will get an email from ncbi no you need not worry about that so just save it as it is and you can just go and say submit any query any discussion you need to do with ncbi should be done with this submission id only because your record is not submitted so here you have submitted and completely you see that below here see now it's uh, submitted and awaiting processing here we have another file that is being awaited i deleted it so there is only one remaining it is submitted and you need to know one more thing here you should always have been pub logged in if you have not logged in you cannot submit so i am just logging out this is the mail i received from ncbi gen bank so you can read it out uh, thank you for your direct submission of sequence data to gen bank we have provided gen bank accession number for your nucleotide so this is uh, the gen bank mk 968930 is the accession number assigned for my submission and you can look at this point here based on the data submitted to us the scheduled result release date for your submission is january 1st 2020 so i'll show you the next uh, screen i'll this is a sequence available on genbank on the 1st of january 2020 just zoom it out and i'll read it can you see we have a cryobacterium cucumber strain s a r j s2 16 s ribosomal rna gene partial sequence so this is a sequence here and you can go through the authors the authors are listed as submitted there is no change at all so let me go back to the original version and then in the next slide i can show you this the paper 
the research article we have published using the organism so statistical optimization of protease production using a freshwater bacterium chrysobacterium cucumeris sarjs2 for multiple industrial applications so this was published on 14th may uh, sorry it is published on accepted on 14th may it was available at the end of uh, the may the month may in 2020 in three biotech it is a, a research journal under springer nature so that's all about it you can for more videos you can subscribe to our channel and uh, if you have any things to discuss or want help for you can surely comment in the comment section and then we will have more content on such matters on this website uh, on this youtube channel so thank you for watching jai hind jai karnataka